Hi, I'm Valerie. I'm Marley. And we're here at the Water Dog Tavern in Belmont, California, ready for some brunch. Because mm. we're flight risk. <laughs> we're flight risk. <laughs> Today we are at the Water Dog. It's light. Uh, they have a beautiful outdoor area. Uh, apparently it's very nice at night, but uh, today we have the fires burning up in Northern California, so um, you know, we have a haze. It's unhealthy to sit outside right now, but you know. Um, today I'm drinking what's called a Nitro White Russian, because there's nothing else on my stomach at this point. Um, and it is vodka, sugar syrup, um, heavy cream, house-made nitro cold brew coffee. It's very good. Very good. And Valerie behind the camera is having a glass of wine. What wine are you having, Valerie? Uh, the Arborist. It is a red blend from uh, France. Quite delicious. And reasonably priced. All the people on our channel. It's so hard. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what's your name? I'm Kehlani. Um, how long have you been working here, Kehlani? Um, since February, I actually moved out here um, from Daly City. Oh. So I'm not from the area. So I'm getting used to it a little bit, but they're really welcoming. They're very fun over here. What is your favorite drink on the menu? My favorite drink on the menu? Um, cocktail wise? Yes. Yeah. I'm not even 21. Ah, okay. Yeah, so that's a little bit of a turner. Um, but if I were to say something, like probably the honey lemonade, if you don't want to have any alcoholic drinks, because they're very popular. Um, and the slushy margaritas are very popular as well, as well as a troublemaker, which is a jalapeno and piece of and what do you like to eat? The fried chicken sandwich, definitely for brunch. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. Um, for dinner, I would probably say the filet. Definitely. Huh? We ordered a side order of blue cheese mac and cheese. Now, you can't go wrong with mac and cheese. It's this nice small side portion. The pasta is actually rolled. I love the way they do this. It's perfect. Let me try. Again, it's a blue cheese. <laughs> Give him the belly rub. <laughs> the mac and cheese is very thick cheese. The blue cheese portion isn't that prevalent. Yes. Um, even a child would like this. It isn't like a really heavy, stinky blue cheese. Very nice. Mm, thank you. What we have here is an espresso martini. Good for waking you up on a Sunday morning. It's I, um, sorry, vodka, Bailey's, Kahlua, nitro cold brew coffee. It's got some beans on top for dressing. It isn't really heavy, which is nice. Let's try it. Mm. A little bit sweet. It has some ice in it, which is very nice. This is sort of tickles the tongue. Very small shards of ice. Not shards, but very small pieces of ice. That is very nice. You can feel the alcohol. You can't really taste it, but you can feel it. Very nice. I recommend this. Very nice. And it is twelve fifty, but still beautiful. Okay, so our opinion of the macaroni and cheese, I think you can kind of tell. It's good. It's really good. And my favorite part of it is the sauce. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it. Why let this little bit go to waste when it's the best part? Oh. Dress her all up, can't take her out. <laughs> <laughs> it's absolutely delicious. I highly recommend the side of mac and cheese. It's perfect, especially if you're sharing it as an appetizer. I think Arlie liked this drink. I'm not sure. I have to have another one to decide. <laughs> That's good. That's really, really good. I recommend that for breakfast every day. Okay, whereabouts are we? Uh, we're at 1015 Alameda de las Polgas. 
basically corner of Ralston and, and uh, Alameda in the uh, Carl Village Shopping Center at Water Dog Tavern. Okay. And your position, sir? I'm the owner. My name's Toby McNulty. Tell us uh, about the place. It's, uh, it's beautiful, it's bright, it's airy. It used to be Ola's, which was very dark before, but it uh, looks very nice. Talk about it. We took over when uh, Ola decided not to renew their lease, and we also added the beer garden outside. So the beer garden is dog friendly. Um, it's open anytime. We, we have a small bar down there. We don't always open the bar, especially during the winter, but the beer garden is always open for somebody to come down and you want to have a bite to eat and a little drink with your puff, go right ahead. And how'd you choose your menu? Uh, the idea behind the menu was modern comfort food. Um, we wanted some new twists on some things that maybe you've had before. Um, some of our more popular items are fried chicken, our ribs, uh, our salmon is very popular, all of our sea bass. Uh, probably the, mo the two most popular dishes we have though are Carlmont burger and Brussels sprouts. Mm, Brussels sprouts. The Brussels sprouts we sell just a ton of. What do you think special about this restaurant compared to others in the neighborhood? Your competition? Uh, you know, I think the, well, I, nobody on the peninsula has an outdoor area like we do. That's to start with. Uh, Food-wise, we try and be a little bit more on the casual side, but we still take care with how we prepare things. Um, and we've got an extremely decent-sized bar. Um, I think our, our craft cocktails are a step above anybody in the area. And Absolutely. Your craft cocktails are amazing. Right. They are very good. The and, you know, one of our features is our slushies. You know, we have three alcoholic slushies that we do. Our house margarita is a slushie, and that's all been very popular. And they have a very good sized bar. There's maybe 30 seats around it, so if you come by yourself and want to have a meal, it's, uh, you'll have room. And, and when's your happy hour? It's Monday through Friday, 3 to 6. Okay. And then regarding the bar, that was kind of a main focus when we opened up about the design. I don't know if you remember, it used to be over against that wall it was Zola's, and it was just in kind of a dark corner. But uh, I personally don't like bars that are up against walls. I think having a uh, U-shaped bar right in the middle of the restaurant makes it a lot more fun. You don't feel like you're sitting out of, your, out of the way when you're By at yourself. the bar. Plus, you can see what everything that's going on. Yeah. It's great. We love it. We love what you've done with it. Thank you. Love Anything it. else you'd like to say? Uh, I think this is an excellent place. Come by and check us out. <laughs> what I have here is a buttermilk chicken sandwich. Uh, the bun seems excellent. The chicken you can see through the side. And this is Texas potato salad. I'm not sure what the difference is, but later on in this video, I will tell you exactly. It smells wonderful. You can smell the spice off the potato salad, and I've never had Texas potato salad before, so I'm not sure what it is, but it looks fantastic. Let me tell you. So I am super duper excited here. I am having the homemade corned beef hash with potatoes, uh, a little uh, egg on the top here, and some hollandaise on the side. Now the hollandaise I added because I thought it would just be really good with everything. I'm also gonna ask for some sriracha probably. But I really cannot wait to dig into this and just tell you how good it is. Mmm. Wow. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Really delicious. Not too salty like a lot of corned beef is, but you can tell that this was done home style, just on the grill, for me. It, it's really, really good. Excuse me while I eat. Hand sharpened in the back. So what we have with the chicken, is they've actually put the whole slaw on it. Now I know this is very dietetic. Uh, no, it has a bunch of mayonnaise on it, some pickles, deep fried chicken, and coleslaw. Coleslaw in the sandwich, which will actually make it lighter, and I think it'll be very crispy. I will taste this in a second, but let me taste the, the uh, potato salad for you. The smell of this is Incredible. Mm. 
I don't know what the spice is. It's not like regular uh, potato salad. Potato salad, which I was growing up, was always just creamy and had other things in it. It has a little bit of a vinegar bite to it, which is actually refreshing because this, the sandwich itself is going to be very heavy. Very nice. Okay. It's time for the best part. To skewer the egg. Ready? just unearthed treasure. There is a pesto sauce, or I think it's kind of a southwestern sauce underneath this. I don't know if you can really see it. Maybe if you zoom in a little bit. It's like this green sauce right here. It's a little bit spicy. It has some, um, tastes like it has some fresh peppers ground into it. It is just out of this world. If you enjoy a good corned beef hash, you're going to love this. Here we're having the deep fried, I guess it's a fried buttermilk chicken. It's beautiful. It's a little bit sloppy for me to pick up, so I've taken the top off it. I'm going to eat it with a knife and fork. So Damn we'll Canadians. <laughs> we'll they don't know how to eat fried chicken. <laughs> wow. Oh. It's juicy. Okay, talk with your mouth full, honey. Yeah, the pickle, the cheese, and the coleslaw. Coleslaw makes it crunchy, it does so do the pickle. It is extremely tasty. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> You're a goofball. It's an explosion of flavor in your mouth. With the crunchy chicken, very nice, very nice. Actually, it's very smooth. Very nice for breakfast. I wouldn't want this for dinner, but I'd like a, a softer meal for breakfast. I recommend a couple. It was very delicious. Um, just simply more food than one person should eat at a session. But my belly is so full. And I don't have a small belly. It's like, it's good. But it's uh, enough food that I should actually go and have a sneeze. I like sneeze. And your name, sir? I'm uh, Nicholas Conrad, but uh, at Water Dog they call me Captain Trips. <laughs> and what do you do here? I am a dishwasher, prep cook, line cook. So I sort of dabble in all the things in the kitchen. And how long have you worked here? I think it's been about three or four months. Um, and I, I love it here. It's, it's what do you like best? Uh, I like the people in the kitchen. You know, like it's, it's there's like a, a camaraderie, you know, like we're all like brothers and sisters back there. You know, it, it's great. So what do you eat back there? Um, it depends. Like, um, some days it's like, you know, I'll make something like a salad or something, or, you know, it's, it's pretty much what I'm feeling I'll, I'll eat. What's your favorite thing that's on the menu? What would you recommend to people coming into dine? If I were to recommend something, I'd probably recommend the fried chicken. It, it is really, really good. It is. It is. Well, I don't know. Is there anything you want to say to people? Um, to encourage him to come in. <laughs> Water Dogs, it's a, it's a nice place. You know, nice people, great atmosphere, great food. Come on by. And great cooks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so um, it was another successful trip to uh, Water Dog in Belmont, California. Intoxicating. Oh, intoxicating, filling, and absolutely delicious. Can't wait to come back.